All right, guys, and we're back, and we're going to head straight into the weekly. We're going to do a 1v1. Wish me luck. And this pack, it's uh, pretty interesting. I would have loved to have seen, like, an organic, like, poodle or, like, a monkey or something. You can cheat out a monkey, but it's pretty tricky. Uh, you can also do, like, you can do with a manatee banana combo. You can also hit up a... Uh, catfish cow build but you don't want to level up the catfish to two if you do that so there are a couple good choices uh i'm gonna go ahead and skip over to the actual match so i'll see you then all right and we're right into it against half stack let's see i'm definitely going you roll one i like iguana here Ooh, the hp buff kind of sucks i do but i don't like it go on the iguana that's really good and our team comp right now seems a little weak, but we have a plan. And our plan is, please find a, uh, what's it called? A seahorse. Not losing level one is really big because now I can lose on uh, turn two. I'm going to go ant. Uh, I could go sea otter again. I don't mind that. I'll freeze you for a turn. I'll hold off on leveling you for now. Instead, I'll go second sea otter. Put you in the back. Or beaver. Freeze the otter. And that gives me access to, access to level 3s, which are so much more powerful in this pack than level 2s. It's a decent trade. That's really bad. But we don't mind losing here. Because we would get the extra HP anyway. And we'll go for a level 2. That's really bad. Uh, I don't really care for either one of these. I'm done with the iguana. I guess if I had to pick... I'll take a lasagna. I might just grab that. Let's combine you by you. Freeze... Unfreeze you. I'd rather go for a kangaroo. Oop. And let's see. Really good stat line. That's a really good buff. Nice. Oh, fuck. I forgot I'm doing a versus match. Oh, I was just playing like I was playing in the arena. Okay, well, I got a level 3, which is nice. Do I want to go for a tier 4 unit or a tier 3? I should go for a tier 4, right? Why not just go for a... You're going to stick around with me for a little bit? Why not just go for a... Um, tier 4 unit, since I'm already getting there. And my opponent is putting a little bit too much into Ferret, which was really good last week. This week, not so much, unfortunately. I think my otter might just be here to stay for the whole week. Or for the whole match. That's a really good trade. I'm really happy about that. Nice. And then I'm going to lasagna the... Probably the otter. Well, let's wait. Let's see what I get. Uh, I like... I think this will destroy him. I don't think I waste my time leveling you up. Instead, I sell you. I buy a hawk, put it here. I like the hawk more than I like most of these units. Just buff you. I know I just sold you, but now I kind of regret it. No, I don't. Because I can sell you Buff you, put you back here. Actually, I like you more. Consider you. Freeze you for a level up. And my turn. I'm happy with this. I think this is going to destroy him by killing his peacock. It's just a really good snipe. Nice. I'll go for the level. Whew. 
I will take the Garl. And I'll be very happy for that. I have time to go for Melon Helmet. I don't know if he's going to swap his Peacock. If he does, that could be kind of disastrous. I mean, that's what I would do. But I don't think I should play around it. Maybe go meat on a bone on the... Oof, on you. Put the Garl in the back. Let's see how he plays. We'll see. I think he's going to move his Peacock. He did. It was a good move on his part. But we're just kind of overstated right now. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so I'll show you. Go you. My opponent has a peacock. That's his main unit. I, I want to get you with melon armor. I don't care what happens to that then. Uh, then it doesn't matter where everyone else is, right? Not really. Uh, if I go... Meat on a bone on you. I'll think about it. I'm selling you. Manatee is interesting, but I don't think I really have time. Keep that frozen. Meat on a bone you isn't bad. Because I'm looking to close out the win already. Nice. That's all I really care about right now. That's going to be a good uh, swap. That's really good. And we're very close to closing out the win, and I get melon armor on you now. Which is very unfair. I'm going to go ahead and make the swap here. Do I need to do that? Why don't I do this? That'll guarantee me, or it won't guarantee me the win, but it'll be pretty damn close. I think I take some food buffs here. And I think this will guarantee the win. Alright, well GG. You can see here I've really utilized food buffs a lot. Uh, I always feel like I have a really strong early game. But my mid to late game has been kind of weak lately. So what I've been doing is I've been... Uh, oh, this is really good. I've been adjusting some of the things that I do. Nice. And investing a lot more in food perks, trying to close out an early win. So that was good. Do I have time for one more? I think I do. Let's see. Now, my opponent didn't have that high a rank, but I mean, it is what it is. I'd like to get back to 1700s. Ooh, okay. This is a really tough opponent. I like a duck for the stat line. I like you, and I like you. I think I'm good with this. Uh, we'll stick with the tasty mushrooms. And what am I going for here? Uh, just like last time, I'm going to go for some early level 2s if I can, or level 3s if I can help it. Not level 3s, I mean tier 3s. We'll see. Not too many good tier 4s. Actually, yeah, there's some good ones. Especially since monkey isn't a thing. It's really nice. He's going for the plus 1, plus 1. That kind of stinks. I don't know about that. That's a really good buff. I think I'm happy with this. And if I can get another two kills early on in the uh, early game, I'm pretty happy. Um, one win doesn't mean anything, but two wins means a lot. And if he doesn't move his comp at all, then this is an easy stop. Because then I'll take out the beaver with an ant. Uh, my ant will also take out his ferret. Uh, who will he buff? He'll probably buff the Iguana, so it'll be a 1-3 that'll also trade really good. But there's a lot of good options here. You could argue putting the Iguana in the back, but I don't think he's going to make a summoning build. He already sees I have an Iguana, 
So that doesn't make any sense. He's panicking. That's a really good trade. And what? He buffed his ferret, right? How does that make any sense? Why would you want to buff your ferret? That's going to be a 3 4. This still trades really well with that. Um. I wouldn't mind going for two of you. Freeze both of these. He's going to combine these. That's what I would do. That'd be three attack, four attack. Right? Unless he gets an extra one. This should be fine. I'll keep you here. I think this is really good. What I'm banking on is that it has 4 HP. The worst that can happen is 5 HP, and I have a backup plan for that. Then the 3 attack is strong enough to still go 2 for 1. Then the Iguana can get buffed to be another 2 for 1, or the Otter, which is the same thing. This guarantees me uh, an early level up, and I'm trying to hit level 2, or uh, tier 3 units pretty quickly. My opponent is... Riding the clock, which kind of sucks. Come on. We'll see how he plays this. He gave up. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Well, um, do I do a third one? Nah, I got to end it here. I got to use the restroom. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though, and I'll see you on the next one.